What's up guys and welcome back to another book review. I've realized doubling back on the other book reviews that I've posted on my time feed. I realized that I've been telling about like previews of the book and what the book is about but not so much as like my personal opinion, my perspective as to what the book gave and the message that it sent and stuff like that. So let's try this again. So the book Crank Palace is part of the Maze Runner series and it is a short novella. And I would say that I have very high expectations for this book, but I actually did not like it. This is one of the first couple novels that I've read um, in regards to like anything apocalyptic because I love thrillers. But this has to be the first novella or first thriller that I've read that I didn't, I didn't really like. So for those who are just visiting this book review and they haven't reviewed my previous video, Newt is not immune to the flare. So he caught the flare and became a crank. He knew that his life as a crank was going to be a short one, so he decided to leave behind his friends Thomas, Miho, and Brenda, and Albie, and Chuck, and all them. And he ventured off to go to the crank palace, where anybody who still has a conscience who is not yet in the gone goes there. When Newt arrived to crank palace, he was accompanied by a mother and her son. And since, you know, everyone's family is long gone, they're only a memory, this woman adopted Newt into her family. Newt didn't have much of a responsibility up until that point, and he knew that his only responsibility until he completely loses his mind to the flare is to protect this woman and her son. He later soon realized in the book that this woman was carrying something very valuable to her and something that nobody knew existed during this time of time of era. What she had was a phone, and this phone was used to communicate with Wicked. And I actually did not mention that in this book, Newt became a very popular crank to the guards that were guarding Crank Palace. These guards are known to sweep the city of any cranks or anybody that has the flair or long in the gone by either annihilating these people or sh uh, shipping them to Crank Palace. Now, the character in the book, Keisha, she's the one that has the phone who is, in con who is in contact with Wicked because Wicked has her family. This woman thought that she had no hopes into being reunited with her family until Newt came into Crank Palace. And she knew if the guards knew who Newt was because he was part of Wicked's really big project for the mazes. She knew, along with other people that wanted to leave Crank Palace, ended up conducting a plan to leave Crank Palace. They also later find out that Crank Palace isn't even ran by guards. They're not even being guarded at all. They've been abandoned. And one interesting thing is that Newt was having these episodes to where he was kind of like having these symptoms of him turning into... Well, well, he's already a crank, but there's like levels, there's stages in the catching the flare and being the crank and then going into the gone or past the gone. That's when you lose your entire self. So he've had these episodes, these flashbacks, these symptoms of him becoming more violent. Just to revisit the topic, the woman that he ends up meeting at Crank Palace, Keisha is the one that had the phone, who was working with Wicked to like use Newt as collateral for her family, basically. That's just the run. Because it's like they originally, Wicked originally had these kids in the maze to like experiment on them to find a cure for this flare to control it. But yet they're fucking with Newt and Newt is already, they already know he's not immune because he caught the flare. He's already a crank or becoming a crank and yet they're still fucking with him. Like, I don't know, like this book, like Newt in the movie was like one of my favorite characters. So just kind of like reading this part of the book with just him is depressing. Like this book was really depressing. It was really just Newt helping those that had a chance to live survive while he just kind of accepts his fate and if you haven't already you can venture over to my instagram prettyreads.est96 where i'm going to be posting majority of my book content and my book reviews and i hope to see you guys there